All right, welcoming you to a very special class today, our chair yoga class. We have a guest with us who's going to help us get our giggles on for um, laughter yoga, laughter being the best medicine. I'm learning about it. Um, we're going to be exploring the benefits of laughter with Barbara Lovejoy. She's a laughter yoga leader um, and one of our West Coast WM friends. I was really, really excited and pleased to try this with Barbara a little while back. And um, I was kind of surprised at how challenging it was to get myself to laugh authentically. Like, where does that come from? But Barbara really helped. She guided me through it. And her words were, I believe, fake it till you make it. And so it started to come a little bit easier. And I realized after I had done it, you know, I was resisting the whole thing the whole time. But after I had done it, I really felt so relaxed. And then doing a little bit of research and learning a little bit more on my own ends. Um, so excited to learn from you, Barbara. But I did learn that it is, it is a re it can relax the whole body. So you, you can kind of envision that when you're laughing, you're, you're kind of contracting muscles and then you're releasing them. And so this will help, you know, release tension in the body. And then there are all of these other benefits we're going to learn about that I, I thought um, would be really useful for this particular population. So immune system function. Um, there is some stuff out there that's talking about laughter being helpful for that. So I'm hoping Barbara can illuminate us on that. Um, we're going to start today with a little bit of our normal stuff. So I want to create a nice soft matrix for Barbara to work in, right? That we're already a little bit, we already moved a little bit, we've already breathed a little bit. And then we'll get into um, Barbara's portion and we'll close it out with a little meditation on joy. And I brought not only my chimes, but a xylophone today. So I think that sound can be a really powerful way to kind of lift your spirits. So let's get started. I might just take a stretch if I've been sitting for a while. I might just lift my arms out and up make any movements, maybe just shake my arms out and maybe rub my hands together. If you've been looking at a monitor a lot already, we could care for the eyes briefly, taking the glasses off and just cupping the palms over the eyes and allowing myself to enter into this yoga space rolling my eyes around in my eye sockets and taking a few easy breaths here. Maybe you want to just allow the belly to soften a little bit and fill with your breath. And then we can begin to bring the hands down and massage the face. Lots of muscles in the face used for laughing, right? Imagine what a laugh looks and feels like. And then notice which muscles might be used in your face. And you might go ahead and just massage those for a moment. Maybe smooth out the brow. This is a place where I collect tension myself. Good. All right. Taking those glasses back on if you like. And we're just getting set up here. We have Barbara Lovejoy joining us and we're gonna get warmed up for her so we can be receptive to laughter yoga. Um, one thing that we are doing when we are laughing is we're making sound. And if you know me, you know that I love the practice of sound yoga. And bee's breath is one of those things. Actually, we haven't done it in a while. So I thought we would try this today as a way to warm up for laughing. Bee's breath is a really simple pranayama practice that you can do um, to, it's actually helpful for boosting immune system health, but it can um, kind of warm up 
the throats and it can release tension in the neck. So we produce a little bit of a humming sound like that of a bee with the mouth closed. So we're inhaling and as we exhale, just like that. So we can give it a try, bee's breath, finding a nice easy posture and maybe closing the eyes if you like and letting the jaw relax, letting the shoulders relax. Let's try five bees breaths in a row. You could just listen or maybe you want to join in. friends opening the eyes and coming back from our bees breath we'll get the body moving just a little bit so I'm going to lift my arms up halfway palms facing up and as I exhale I'm going to bring the palms facing down arms coming down so we're breathing in breathing out Maybe you want to go a little higher with the arms. I'm only going as far as feels good to me today. I'm not going to push through pain or discomfort. As I lift my arms, I'm breathing in. As I relax my arms down, I'm breathing out. We can do two more of those. At whatever pace feels good to you. And then I'm bringing my arms out to the sides in a cactus shape. And I'm going to twist my, cor my torso to the right, twist my torso to the left. So I'm kind of turning on some of my core muscles. Very important. They're at the foundation of your laughter. You know, this core guffaw comes from this deep place in your abdomen, the diaphragm. Um, and I'm looking forward to feeling where the muscles are when I do laugh a little bit later. Maybe you take one more on each side. Coming back center and giving yourself a hug just for showing up today, trying something new. Take a big breath and maybe even Sigh it out the mouth. All right. And then we'll do one more thing before we kind of turn things over to Barbara. I feel like side bending could be really important for this practice. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring a little space between my feet. So I have a nice wide stance. I'm sitting up nice and tall and I'm going to stretch my right arm up and over, reaching over to the left side exposing my right side and releasing and switching, right? Only do what feels good to you. You don't have to bring the arm up and over. You could rest it on the hip. So exploring what it would feel like to stretch the muscles between the ribs. And maybe one more on each side. Very good. And if there were one more movement you wanted to make before we listen a little bit to Barbara, it might be just marching in place and kind of getting everything lubricated. Maybe a little bit of marching in place could feel good, right? And if you're feeling really energetic today and it's hard to sit still, you can always get up and walk around and listen. That's an option as well. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just marching in place. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. And any other movements that are feeling good to you. And then we will turn it over to Barbara here. I'm going to pin her and ask her to unmute. And we can um, take a little listen and learn from our laughing yoga teacher. Thank you so much, Anne, for warming us all up. And it's a real joy for me to be here and share some laughter today with you. So starting off with a question, who here loves to laugh? Show me. Yeah. Now, who here finds it difficult to laugh when things just really aren't very funny? So that's one of the things I'm here to show you today that it's very possible through practice and as Anne already said, faking it till you make it, to actually still exercise all of those wonderful muscles, especially the diaphragm in our body that makes it possible to release all these wonderful feel-good chemicals in our body, like oxytocin and dopamine and neurotransmitters that get our killer cells ready to go fight and strengthen our immune system. But I don't want to get too technical and analytical here. I noticed that someone in the chat responded to Anne's question about what brings you joy, seeing small children laughing and having fun. That is absolutely our guideline for laughter yoga. We're here to actually recapture and get in touch with that inner child that we all still have very much alive that knew how to play and laugh and be silly and giggle and didn't know about all these adult problems we're dealing with. Like for example, who's doing your taxes right now? <laughs> Boy, we'll talk, we'll learn to laugh about that too. And today is April Fool's Day. So what better day than to give ourselves permission to be silly and even foolish and not care what we look like or what others think? Okay, so who would like to learn how to laugh even when it doesn't seem like there's anything to laugh about? Excellent. All right, and also as Anne mentioned, it's not really that easy uh, because we've often got this conditioning, at least that's one of the reasons, strong inner critic messages. Maybe you got as a child, like, shh, 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 don't make so much noise, mommy's trying to work, or who knows what. For example, I'll share a little of my story, how I got into laughter yoga quickly. Well, first of all, I was a baby during World War II when my dad was in the army. So the whole world here in the United States was in a major depression. My mom and grandmother were extremely worried about my dad, of course, and everybody. And I heard about the starving children in China all the time. And I was already as a little child worrying about them. So it was hard for me to feel happy when others were suffering. How many feel that way? It's just not easy, you know. And also um, the country itself, there's energy we pick up from the general energy field all around us. But people still love to laugh. So I couldn't wait for my mom to get the Reader's Digest in the mail. How many people have read the Reader's Digest? All right. When I learned to read, I would go right away to the section called Laughter is the Best Medicine. And that was their slogan way, way back then. I didn't read any of the serious stuff. I just skimmed through Reader's Digest to all the sections on laughter because I just had to make myself feel happy somehow, I knew, okay? So it's still in print, folks, and you can even get an anthology from the last 100 years of all their funniest jokes if you want some props, because there's nothing wrong with having props to help us laugh. However, Dr. Kataria, 
who was the founder of Laughter Yoga, his unique gift was helping us learn childlike, playful exercises and breathing exercises that would help us exercise our healing muscles and laugh even if we didn't really feel like it because our body doesn't know the difference. When we're doing the deep releasing of the diaphragm up and down and around, we still get all of those chemicals released into our body. And we get the advantages of the raised mood, the boosted immune system, more circulation to bring our blood and our lymph cleansed and flowing into all of our cells. So it's absolutely necessary, really. It's a serious business to practice laughter, to learn to do it when we really need to shift our mood because we know that stress is one of the main things that can produce any kind of illness, especially cancer. Okay, so when I was diagnosed in 2016 with Waldenstrom's, believe me, I was not laughing. It was a shock out of the blue. And my inner critic, which had a lot of training from my mom and grandmother about worrying, boy, was really worrying. And so as I kept researching and doing everything I could to heal myself uh, with alternative methods, as well as the medical system, I realized I wasn't having much fun at all. It was just too serious. Luckily, I found laughter yoga through a friend and right away, I just took to it. And I knew that that's what I wanted to add to my repertoire of services that I provide because it's just so necessary and easy. So some of the benefits I'd like to tell you first about laughter yoga, then I will show you, lead you through some exercises for breathing and then just our playful exercises. One of the, um, I think they're, they've all been said, but the benefits are mainly strengthening the immune system with those healthy chemicals, also, the blood, the circulation flow, shifting our mood whenever we want, but also especially opening to that playful inner child that is a resource of creativity for us that adds poetry and music and all of the wonderful Walt Disney kinds of things that take us into imagination and possibility where we can really move beyond the negative fears that might crowd out our mind and keep us feeling down. Does that sound good? All right. So the main thing then is fake it till you make it. And if you feel a little unnatural, that's great. You can laugh at that too, because it really takes practice like learning any kind of physical exercise to strengthen our laughter muscles and our spontaneity and our being okay with just feeling like we're practicing laughing. So remember, it is really serious fun that we're wanting to have here, but in time you will find it can get easier and easier as we go. There's three different main sounds of laughter. There's the ho, the ha, and the he. And they really are all a healing vibrational quality in the body. It is really sound healing. So I'd like us to just do some hearty hoes, not even trying to laugh. Breathe in. Hold your breath, hold your breath, and then really explode out with a ho. And feel in your body how the ho really resonates deep, deep down in the belly. Ho. Say it a couple times. Ho, ho, ho. And for those versed in chakras through yoga, it really activates our lower chakras there as well and energizes them. Okay, now say... Breathe in deeply again, hold it, hold it, and then go out with the ha. 
find where that resonates. It's really right here centered in the heart and the lungs and the upper chest and all of that's going to get energized. And then say the he, it takes us higher up. He, 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 throat, upper head, upper chakras. And, you know, if you want to really play around being ap ap <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, operatic with the high, high he's, which I won't bother your ears with here, but I do it at home a lot, pretending I'm an opera singer. The really high, high he's pierce the veils, so to speak, and really lift us up almost into another dimension of higher energy. It's why we love listening to music so much. Up and down our spine, we really are providing healing and every nerve, you know, exits from the spine and then feeds the organs and the cells that go into them. So let's start off adding some laughter to some easy warm-up exercises. So breathe in naturally, filling from the abdomen on the way up. And as we breathe out, let's just try little gentle giggles. <laughs> It can be do it again and breathe in and let's try giggling out with the he's. <laughs> Get some sound. He 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 he. Main thing, feel your diaphragm pumping away. Let's breathe in again. And with the ha. Ha 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 ha. Just forming up your vocal cords. Breathe in. Think ha 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 the way Santa Claus might laugh deep in the belly, ho, 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 ho. And it's no joke that people, some of our key heroes when we were kids, like Santa Claus, was a jolly, laughing, big-bellied guy, right? Well, that was based on all of that joy-producing laughter. Okay, let's do one final laugh. Breathing in. And out whichever way you'd like. <laughs> or, but let's do another one where you can switch back and forth from the high he's and the ho's. <laughs> and just doing this in the morning, the evening, or whenever you need a stretch or a break. <laughs> can be wonderful. Okay. So now the other thing we do, we can clap and we do the ho, ho, ha, ha, he, he's. And by clapping, we're also stimulating all of the different acupressure points in our palms that send energy into our body. So we go ho, ho, ha, 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 ho, ho, ha, 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 ho, ho, ha, 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 ho, ho. Ha ha, and don't worry if you don't do it the way I'm doing it. Ha ha ha, ho ho, ha ha ha. Let's speed it up a little. Ho ha ha ha, ho ho, 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 ha ha ha. And now, like a little kid, very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! And congratulate yourself and everyone. Good going, you guys. Just get into that playful little kid joy and jubilation. Okay, now we're gonna try a, a little laughter practice. Uh, I call it the peekaboo laughter because, you know, most of you I'm sure have had little kids or grandchildren or little kids to play with. You know how we like going, and the little kids giggle and laugh. Well, pretend you're doing that to a little kid. And you can just go, ha, 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 
ほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Well, I laugh at myself about that. So don't worry about belting it out and we're going to go, you can do the hoes, the haws, and the he's whenever. We're not here to keep together or to keep perfect time, but please do unmute yourselves, everybody. Can, can I interject something really quick, Barbara, that we sure. are recording? So unless you want to be um, captured on that recording, do not unmute. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I'm pretty okay. Yeah, pretty sure we need to make sure that people who are okay with being recorded. So if they're, if you do. Oh, unmute, I get it. Okay. And well, I guess I might have to go on record with everyone hearing my singing voice alone. And I'll just laugh every time I watch the replay. Okay. If, so, if you want, I can also be, uh, if it would help. No, you I don't know. mind. I want people to be able to at least have someone to laugh with. <laughs> Okay, so I even if you don't remember the melody, you'll probably more or less get it from me. So it's ho 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 ha 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 he 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 ha 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 everyone ho 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 ha ha he 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 ho 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 he 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 one more time, ho, 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 ha, 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 working on banana boat all day long, come daylight, and I want to go home. Well, it's perfect for practicing different hoes and haws with a lot of gusto, like ho, ho, ha, ha, he, 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 ho, 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 ha, 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 clap, ho, ha, 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 ho, ho, ha, 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 ho, ho, ha, 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 he, 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 hey, ho, he 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 ho ho ha 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 he 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 ha ha he 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 ho ho ha 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 ha. Thank you for that. Now take a breath and just let's do a very good, very good, yay, and another very good, very good, yay. And congratulate yourselves for being willing to try something out. I'd like to close with something a little calmer that I want you to take with you wherever you go. You can close your eyes for this. And just the uh, Qigong teacher I work with talks about the inner smile. And I want you to think of imagining, I invite you to imagine every cell in your body from head to toe. Perhaps you already feel more of a little aliveness and glow and energy in your body. And imagine every cell, what it would look like if it is a Walt Disney movie and every little cell is smiling and happy. And especially if there's a particular area in your body where there's pain or problematic, if you really think of sending your love and your laughter and your attention to that bunch of cells, and you do that regularly, you definitely can help improve things in the body. Visualization has been researched and shown to produce wonderful magical results and just keep breathing naturally and calmly then open your eyes again and look around at everybody and just notice the smiles on the faces and the energy that's been lifted And now I'd like to turn this back to Anne for her closures, final work with you today. Thank you so much, Barbara. I do feel lightened considerably. And I love some of those exercises, you know, the 
really breaking down what are the sounds that you create in a laugh. Ha ha ha, ho ho ho, he he he. Um, so I will be definitely, um, you know, practicing. And I feel like I got a little bit of a core workout doing that. So I thought we would just um, stand up for a moment and, you know, get a little bit of movement in before we do a final meditation. Uh, I really appreciate, Barbara, your time today with us. If you're not like standing up today, that's fine too. Okay, so I've just come to stand. Thank you so much, Mary. And I'm going to take a nice wide stance. And I'm going to lift my right arm up and over. So we're doing another set of side bending. You could do this seated as well. So a couple side bends. The legs are nice and strong. Got it, Mike. So nice to see you and nice to see you, Marty. Can't wait to hear about your trip. All right. Beautiful. And then I'm going to create the, the shape of a chair with my body. So I'm just going to bend my knees and, and bring my hips back a little bit and pull my belly towards my spine. And today I'm going to bring my arms back behind me. And I'm going to swoop my arms up and straighten my knees. Breathing in. As I exhale, I'm going to sink back down. <sighs> Breathing in, lifting up. Maybe as we exhale, we can say, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling, ha, 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 ha. Good. So maybe there was one sound that you liked better. Ha, 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 hoo, 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 he, he, he. You can kind of play with that as part of your movement. So just adding a little bit of sound vibration to this. <laughs> Good. And then we'll take one more. And I'm going to stretch my spine a little bit, placing my hands on my chair, walking my feet back. If you're seated, you could do a forward fold with a, a flat back, getting a little stretch to the back of my legs. Maybe I keep my eyes, my gaze lifted if I have glaucoma or vertigo. And then we're making our way up. And I'm just going to do one more standing thing. This is called, I couldn't, I couldn't resist our breath. Um, this is called breath of joy. So if you are somebody who is has high blood pressure and you're not medicated, you might skip this. So this really does get things um, lifted. If you have low blood pressure, this could actually be good. So I'm going to be doing a series of arm movements connected with breath. It's going to be straight out, out to the sides, and all the way up. And then I'm whooshing down. So I'm breathing in, 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 and exhaling out. Little short inhale, 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 exhale. It's like the shape of a conifer tree. Exhale. Don't worry if you don't get the arm movements right. And we might do one more. All right, and then I'm just going to bring my hands into my lower back and do a little spinal extension, opening of the chest, squeezing my shoulder blades together, squeezing my elbows together, lifting my heart. My heart was already lifted by Barbara singing the um, banana boat song. And uh, that reminded me of my grandfather because my grandfather really loved Harry Belafonte. So go ahead and take a seat and we'll just stretch the legs a moment and then I'll share with you a little bit of um, some more sound vibration in the form of chimes. I'm going to take my right ankle over my left knee. If this would feel good for you, you can modify it as needed. 
And I might just reach my heart forward a little bit, soften my shoulders. And I'm still feeling this effervescence of laughter in my body right now. So just noticing if there are any after effects from this practice today. You can sit up and cross the knee over and take a little twist to the right. Big breath in, nice tall spine and relaxing back to center and switching sides. We'll do those same two things on the other side. So crossing that left ankle over the right knee. Maybe you're already feeling a lot of sensation. You could stay there or you could lean forward a little bit with the flat back. And I'm relaxing my shoulders and maybe noticing that my face got to work out too, my facial muscles with all that laughing. Might stay here as long as you like when you're ready to shift to the next posture. Sit up, cross the knee over, take a twist to the left. Nice tall spine. And relaxing back to center, taking one more big stretch, stretching the arms, stretching the legs. Then we'll go ahead and take a moment to get comfortable. I'll just do a very, very short meditation here. So feeling the feet on the earth. Can you guys hear this little? Can you hear my chime? Okay. Okay. So we're just going to notice the feet on the earth. You could close your eyes. Soften your gaze. Allowing the belly to relax. We started our session with the question, what brings you joy? And perhaps in your mind's eye, if you had a response, you can visualize that which brings you joy, or you can begin to ponder that question and explore Seeing if you can remember the feeling of joy in your body. And just allowing that feeling to spread. Maybe it can be visualized as a color, the color of joy moving through your body. Breathing it in through the nose and uh, delivering it to the whole system. Just allowing that to resonate for a moment. Maybe you'd like to bring your hands to heart center and just envision our community 
so many of us go through so much and just having a little time carved out to be together is wonderful with the addition of some practices that can help us manage stress and get through the day to day. So I really appreciate you being here with us today, Barbara and all of you who are here taking care of yourselves. I will thank you so much for your practice. Namaste. <laughs> and just a quick announcement, um, we'll have a yoga nidra practice on Friday. And speaking of developing imagination and using, using visualization, um, our chair yoga class next week will be meeting at 2.15 rather than 2. And next Friday, we are going to have a gentle mat yoga class. So roll out your mats with me. If you feel comfortable getting down onto the floor, this is a class for you. Um, and we won't be doing a lot of transitions up and down. We'll be doing that very mindfully, but I'm really excited. A lot of you showed me that you're ready to work a little harder and it won't necessarily be hard, but that'll be um, happening next Friday. And all of this will be in our follow-up email. So thank you so, so much to Barbara Lovejoy. We are just blessed to have you in our group. Thanks so much, Barbara. <laughs>